Hey. <laughs> Hola everyone, Kiora. Welcome everyone to the Inside Seven series. We have Pat here from the Spain Women's Sevens team. Pat, can you please give us a little background about you, your family, um, where in Spain you come from, and yeah, just tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Madrid, um, basically in, in El Escorial, so it's quite one hour from, from the city center, which is on the mountains. Um, all my family is from here, so lucky that all my family and everything, we are all all safe like some of us uh well some of my cousins they they had the virus but um they are all right all reco recovery so that's pretty good but in spanish situations it's actually very very hard as you know so yeah. yeah i guess in terms of lockdown how how has it been for you um what are some of your highlights what has been challenging how are you keeping up with your fitness and your training during this time yeah <laughs> well you know on the beginning like I even could like have a little bit of rest, like all the rhythm like, yeah. got down, went down with, uh, you know, the compromise the event. So um, at the beginning it was a little bit like, okay, like a little bit of rest is, is, is going to be good for a couple of days, but then it was a couple of weeks and even months. So <laughs> it wasn't funny at all, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, in terms of uh, preparation, that was, um, we, we were lucky, like uh, we had our strength and conditioning coaches uh, send us uh, through different individually sized program, not just like to train at home, you know, but also like um, with the material that you have. Uh, but yeah, so it have been, have been really hard, but, um, but yeah, now, now last couple of weeks, two, three weeks, we, we can already go out and train. Even the high performance athletes, uh, we can go out any, any time at the, during the day to do our job, which is training. And they are opening um, some facilities, some fields and everything. So from the last two, three couple of weeks, it have been, it has been way better. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's quite bad over there. So. I'm glad you're heading in the right direction. But we do feel for um, yeah. for you, our friends overseas See. who have it a lot harder and tougher than us. So um, well, we're sending love to you guys. <laughs> yeah, yes. Speaking yeah. of New Zealand, <laughs> um, you had some time here in New Zealand too, didn't you? And you got yeah. to play for you got <laughs> the best for the second. Second best province in New Zealand. Waikato. After, after Auckland. That was that. I cried, baby. <laughs> um, can you tell us a little bit about your time in New Zealand? And um, I was going to say in the blue and white hips, so <laughs> in the blue <Mulu> colours. <laughs> yeah. Um, so after after playing the uh, Rugby Sevens World Cup in 2013, I got opportunity to go to New Zealand to play because um, my uh, my coach, my trainer here was Jensen Palmer. He's a New Zealander, he's Maori, and he has good connections with uh, Waikato Rugby Union. And say, hey, can I just send some, some Spanish rugby passionate girls to, to your country to learn some of some of good rugby of the best you know you guys have reference in terms of rugby for everyone in the world and of course for spanish so even if that was the farthest point of the world uh, Madrid, uh, yeah like more than well more than 30 hours fly uh, it, it, it worth it actually because um we we learn a lot in terms uh, of rugby, of course, like it was, like I said, one of my highest level of rugby I have ever played. I was playing um, scrum half at nine and mm -hmm. I was, you know, now I'm more or less 65, 65. At the moment I was 70 and I did my jojo test the best of my life. So I was pretty strong at that. <laughs> and the hardest that we have been training, very, very good, training at 6 a.m. in the morning, CrossFit. Mm -hmm. Um, then skill session and then in the afternoon uh, with, with Waikato. So um, having physio for recovering in the half of the day. So uh, it was actually like professional rugby life. We were there just to learn and improve. So that was that was amazing. And also uh, not just in rugby, but also in, in life. So, you know, for me, New Zealand is my, my second house on my, on my head uh, because yeah. of, of this. Yeah, all of the all of you guys like the people is amazing. Uh, all the values in general that you normally have, 
um, and that mm. you just inspire us to be not just better player, but also better person. So I, I like New Zealand people and I like New Zealand, New Zealand because of that. Yeah. Oh, we like you too. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> love having you here, Pat. <laughs> um, cool. So I guess yeah, you're coming, well, you're not coming to your end of your career like Niall, but um, <laughs> you know, you're sort of coming to the end of your career within the next few years. What, what are your dreams and your aspirations post-rugby? Yeah. Um, yeah, I have I have quite a few. Like um, I'm struggling to know where I want to be focused on the future. So one one side I have my NGO, so my charity projects that I run all over the world, different countries, trying to promote um, education through uh, rugby values. So to pick the rugby and, and bring to people with disabilities in social risk exclusion and um, yeah in terms of vulnerability especially so these people that maybe didn't have the opportunity to bring them the rugby a way to uh, cooperate to growth you know all of this other part i like i like coaching so maybe i would pass to be a coach maybe one day who knows something that i like like to spread um, yeah. and share with others my knowledge and all that i all the learns that I have did, especially in New Zealand. <laughs> all your secrets. Um, nah. <laughs> there it is. Yes. On the world circuit, what is your favorite tournament and why? Mm. All right. <laughs> till till this year, uh, it was Dubai. <laughs> and this year, this year, uh, sorry, I just have to say Hamilton. Uh, it's the city I have been living. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> so <laughs> for me to go there and 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 run out this field again one more time. Okay. Um, next question. What has been one of your most memorable moments? Um, yeah, I would say one, uh, it was um, in 2016 that we qualified for Olympics. So looking back and say, I have been working and fighting with this team for six years to achieve this qualification. And now I'm going to sleep and I have my smile on the face. And <laughs> and that we are going to go to the mm, Olympics. So that would be, that would be. <laughs> Um, what about, I think, I wasn't in the team at the time, I don't think, but did you beat New Zealand one time? Is that correct? I think 2015, I think maybe, I'm not sure about the date, yeah. it doesn't matter. It was, uh, <laughs> I remember perfectly because you guys, like uh, Black Forest, you have been um, beating every team uh, from the last last i don't know if it was more than a hundred games like more than that season like yeah. you didn't lose even what game and that was spain at that moment that we didn't have anything to lose and a lot of things to do in our career and, <laughs> uh, we did we did our best game we did our best mm -hmm. game and i don't remember and we beat you guys and, and for spain that was a party you know like it was amazing all you know, the media and everything uh, because for us it, it it means a lot, but you know it's just something to remember because you guys are the best. Um, hopefully, it doesn't doesn't need to be that that much party next time. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> cool, oh, that's so cool to hear, Pat. Um, well, we're gonna move on, and this is the fun part. We're gonna get an insight into your team a little bit here. So Ooh. it's about your teammate. Don't be shy. Is that the truth? You can tell the truth. Be honest here. <laughs> That's going to have consequences on my country, girls. <laughs> Sweet. So um, question number one, who in the team takes the longest to get ready? Oh. Uh, oh. I'm not sure if that's the longest to get ready, but the one that put the more of things and have the more care of, of hair and do the, the uh, you know the hands and the hair and the and the and the lips and the everything that that's Amaya for sure. Amaya or her, you know, 
Erbina sisters, they put everything, you know, like, you know, here oh, on the hands, everything, so but, but they are always perfect to play. So, yeah. Erbina so sisters. So cool. I, love her, I, love I love it too. <laughs> All right, question number two. Who is your favorite roomie on tour? Who's like the best to room with? Okay. Um, <laughs> one. Uh, maybe Maria Garcia, uh, which is one of the youngest, you know, uh, one of the of the youngest of the team um but she's she's so respectful in terms of she mm -hmm. has her rhythm and i have my rhythm but we love a lot each other and and yeah. she's not you know like oh don't be noisy oh don't do that don't, nah she just respect your your side and i respect her side and we love each other a lot so i'm there for her always that she wants to and and the same direction another direction so yeah i would say her one a rookie okay question number three on the flip side who's the worst roomie on tour what are what are some bad habits they have <laughs> is there any uh, i'm not sure it, it was not you know, he's not on the team anymore, but he was for a couple of years. Eli Martinez, and it's just because she <laughs> snores, snores like <laughs> so she's a beautiful, sleep. beautiful person. But you cannot sleep together to her when she's <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh. no, not with Eli, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I have a feeling this next question is going to be you. Yeah. And um, who's the most competitive in your team? <laughs> um, I was, I was, I was at that time. I was at the time, but I was saying even me, <laughs> even me, or now, now one of the youngest that is pretty competitive and that she even want to compete against the veteran and the old and and, and let everyone know that she's competing. <laughs> uh, he's, <laughs> he's, He's Anne Fernandez de Corres, actually one of the uh, young captains of the team. And yeah, she's pretty competitive in everything. And I, I like to challenge her every time. <laughs> That's good. That's great, actually. Um, okay, who who do you think is the favorite in the team? Who's the coach's pet? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a tough one. Depends. Sometimes Anne, but because she, you know, like we are doing, we are doing like, okay, something technique, like calm, focus, technique, you know, and she just go, pom, 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 you know, and she, so she got called every time, like, Anne, just go, though, you know, like we are fighting technique and then we're going to fight. And uh, that, yeah, maybe, maybe she, like, coach is always. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Okay. Um, do you, you go cafes lots with your team? Coffees? Yeah. Coffee, yeah. cafe, yeah. yeah who, so you, when you go, who's the one who always forgets their wallet? No money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay. She's going to be angry if I say that, but... <laughs> <laughs> nah, Say it. Uh, I, I have paid a couple of coffees to Yera, Yera a couple of times, Yera Chavaria. But oh, uh, yeah, yeah. she's always paying back, but way late. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's gold, that's gold. Nice. nice. Um, okay, last question. Um, we want you to tell us something interesting, some interesting facts about two two or three of your teammates so it could be a hidden talent it could be something they've achieved that no one knows about um it could be something they've been doing in spain anything that that we personally don't know about <laughs> when, when we were in colorado um so this year this season i don't know why or who of the girls is starting to practice some dancing you know like this twerking dancing or something like this is that in english too that makes sense yeah, so she yeah. started she started with someone and suddenly all of the team not me and me, no, i think i was the only or 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 
I uh, one or two that we didn't do it, and all of the other team, all the team Spanish on the on the hotel, uh, they were practicing uh, talking, dancing, whatever. Can you give us? Can you give us a demonstration? Show us. No the tour. way. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I promise I didn't do that. I, I don't like distancing. And suddenly the head coach of Russia, you know, that they are quite a little bit more straight, like, you know, come out of, the, come out of, the, of, the, of his room and I watch all the girls doing it in the, in the middle of the house. That, uh, was embarrassing. Yeah. Good work, Spanish girls. We love yeah. them. So we good, so got good. It, but, um, yeah, and then, yeah, something maybe you know, it's not it's not funny, but I think it's cute and it's good for inspirational for all the other women um, in sport athletes. Is that uh, Barbie Barbara Pla, our our um, our captain, one of our captains? Uh, she is a mother of well, as you, but in Spain this is nothing. This is not very common at all, you know. So she's mother. She has three babies. Um, yeah. And, 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 playing and it still keeps playing so i think this is something very inspirational and good for mm -hmm. women in, in sport especially in spain that it is a lot of handicap and a lot of you know difficulties even more to play sport high performance mm -hmm. when you are a mother um mm -hmm. because here we we do it very late and this is something um yeah very bureaucratic and, and oh. all of their problems that don't have a lot of support so that's something good sweet well that's that's us um we can wrap it up now thanks everyone for watching the inside seven series with pat from spain here we hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about our mates we love her we love that she loves new zealand too and we hope <laughs> one day she'll be back here coaching maybe playing for <laughs> auckland <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> thank you guys that was amazing a lot of funny time and yeah stay safe and yeah, you soon, hopefully. yeah. stay well thanks Pat. <laughs>